Inside this shed on Garen Island in the middle of the Santiam River, an experiment is underway that could hold the solution to Salem's water woes. So it's just a small scale test of what we're going to be doing full scale. Katie Adabani is an engineer overseeing sure. the tests. Small amounts of something called activated powdered carbon are mixed with river water before any other treatment. This is what it looks like on my note paper. It's so small it seems to be absorbed into the fibers of the paper. While the particles are tiny to our eyes, they're big in the microscopic world and sticky. The nasty cyanotoxins causing trouble for Salem have trouble getting past the carbon bits, which is good because nothing else has efficiently stopped them. But after they load up on toxin, the carbon bits are supposed to sink to the bottom. And so far in tests, they are not, which is bad. So we turned it on. We weren't um, getting as good of settling as we thought initially. So that's why we're using the pilot to kind of say, OK, if we don't get great settling, what does that look like full scale? What it might look like is lots of clogging for the huge sand filters below these settling ponds. Exactly, clogging of the filters. So that's really what we're testing. Now um, they're tinkering to see if they can make the carbon bits sink better and stay away from the big filters. Salem has 50,000 pounds of the stuff already, enough for about a week's worth of full-scale use. More is on the way from around the country. In the meantime, Salem's emergency manager says water testing is continuing. We're continuing to monitor at all the same sites and including starting to add locations such as Big Cliff. Um, so adding additional testing locations so we can really try to get a better feel of what the uh, situation is in the reservoir and then all the way down through, this, through the treatment system. The city of Salem believes the activated carbon program will cost as much as $2 million for material and labor from now till the end of the year. The water advisory for the city, by the way, will be in place at least until this weekend. Back to you.